To use your Wiimote on the computer, you'll need a few things to get started. First of all, you'll need a Bluetooth adapter. My girlfriend got me this one off Newegg for about $20, but you can find cheaper ones as low as $10. Obviously, you'll need a Wiimote. This is, and if you want to use the Wiimote as a pointer, you'll need some sort of uh, sensor bar. In this case, I have one here that I built myself specifically for my computer from stuff I bought at Radio Shack. First things first, we have to plug in the Bluetooth adapter. Also, since I'll be using a pointer, I'm going to be plugging in my, blue, my sensor bar. You can see this on the camera. The lights are now on. Cameras can pick up IR light. The next thing to do is to go get, this, go get the Bluetooth device ready. I have this magnified at the top of my screen so you can see what I'm doing better. First you want to start the Bluetooth device. And then go to explore my Bluetooth places. Depending on what type of Bluetooth device you have, it might work differently. Now initially you'll see this area is blank. There's nothing there. That's because I haven't put the, the Wiimote in discoverable mode. To do that, you push 1 and 2 so that the lights blink continuously. This will only stay on for about 10 seconds, so you have to be constantly hitting it to make sure it stays on blinking the entire time. Now that it's in discoverable mode, you want to go to view devices in range. Now as you can see, the Nintendo Wiimote appears on the list. You go back and hit the button again, just to make sure. Next, we're going to go to Bluetooth Setup Wizard. And it asks for a pin code here, but you don't really need to put that in. Skip pairing. Then it'll come up asking if I want to use this device. I have it selected and click Finish. The device is now being paired to the computer and can be accepted by programs that know how to use it. In this case, the program that knows how to use it it's called GlovePy. GlovePy is a program written by Carl Kenner that accepts, that maps the Wiimote buttons to the keyboard or joystick. To get it, you can either just go to Google and type GlovePy, or you can go to carl.kenner.googlepages.com and download the latest version. I already have GlovePy ready, so we won't be needing to do that. Once you have GlovePie downloaded, it comes with a couple scripts bundled with it. This is my own version of the, of the mouse script, which I have edited for my use. All you have to do to get it working is to hit Run. Now when I take my Wiimote, and I point it at the screen, the mouse now moves around. Of course, you can do other things with this, such as play video games. Let's go and stop this script. And choose a different one. Now I have it set for this Super Smash Brothers script that I wrote a little while ago. We'll go we'll go and open um, Project 64. Make sure the script is running. and now the game works with the Wiimote. That's all you have to do to get the Wiimote to work on the computer.